Hey everyone, it's Jack here at 360 Fitness. In today's exercise demo, we're going to be going over bicep exercises for the brachialis and the brachioradialis. So instead of the traditional bicep exercises, you can do also other elbow flexors uh, like the brachia and the brachioradialis. So what we're going to be doing is a hammer curl, and then I'm also going to show you a version of a pinwheel curl. So as you'll see, I'm going to have the same stance as a regular bicep curl, but instead of hitting the supinated position where I'm going to be targeting the long head and the short head, I'm going to be going into a neutral position where the elbow flexors that are dominant in this, this spot are the brachies. So I'm going to stay here, same form, just hammer curl up. So you can be targeting the forearms. You're still working biceps. You're just changing the emphasis to a little bit uh, more inferior, so towards uh, the forearms instead. So you're still working the biceps, just you're sh shifting the emphasis down, okay? So stay in a hammer position. You can also do alternating if you want to really isolate. Another one I want to show you guys is the pinwheel. So pinwheel is, I'm going to do the same form. I'm just going to rotate in and go up to the opposite chest. Up to the opposite chest. Make sure the form is really, really tight on this one. Nice and strong. I'm not going to have that shoulder internally rotate. I'm going to be nice and st uh, steady, steady in the position. My shoulder blade is down and I'm going to curl up to the opposite chest. Same thing on the other side, guys. Just look for that dreaded internal rotation. Make sure the shoulder blades are set. Shoulder girdle is protected. And then dumbbell up to the opposite chest. That is a pinwheel curl, guys. And this is the hammer curl. It helps with the brachioradialis and the brachialis. Enjoy, guys.